Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is John, I am Orphan Car Garage. I'm located in Abington. That's in the state of Massachusetts and we're about 30 minutes or so south of Boston. The car before us today that I have, to, I have here to profile is sort of a unicorn. Uh, it's a love it or hate it type thing, I totally get it. And it's a car that a lot of people didn't even realize Ford still built into this generation. This is a seventh generation Ford Ranchero that ran from 1977 to 1979. Here we have a version from 1977. The Ranchero started life at Ford way back in 1957. And as I said, had seven generations, this being the final. Um, Ford was first to the market with a car truck utility vehicle in 1957 and Chevrolet followed suit in 1959 with the ever so popular El Camino, which to this day seems to command more attention than these Rancheros did. Although Ranchero was first to the market for it. So we got to give them kudos for that. Over at Ford, this car is exceptionally nice because it's a survivor. It's an original unrestored car. From what we can see, all original paint, original interior and mechanicals. So very, very nice presentation of an unrestored original seventh generation Ranchero. This paint we had professionally detailed and corrected. It's a four-step process. My guys came in late last week and did that. A lot of what you're seeing there is a reflection from the clouds above. You're not seeing a lot. Those aren't flaws in the paint. Those are the clouds above us. So they spent almost a full day on this car, bringing back its original luster, bringing back the original luster from this medium blue paint. When we received the car, there was a lot of patina and clouding and oxidation in the paint that we were able to remedy and it came out absolutely beautiful. Now that being said, this paint is about 45 years old now, so it's certainly not perfect. These, these trucks were built to be worked, although this truck appears to have been worked very little. I don't know, do you call it a car? Do you call it a truck? I don't know, whatever, whatever. I think Ford classified it as a truck actually. Uh, so obviously not a perfect car. It's original though, it's original. Another thing about this car is it spent its entire life in California until its most recent owner had it shipped here to Massachusetts around 2012. And when he did that, he only used it for pleasure cruises and car shows. It actually won a couple of trophies. One of them's in the vehicle. Really, really nice presentation. And being from California, there's no body filler in this car. There's no signs of any prior body work and certainly no body rot. To, to contend with. Uh, the only parts that I will show you while we're back here, overall the the uh, the bed is in really, really nice shape. Those are leaves that have blown from the trees above. But overall, really, really nice shape. This is all original paint again. Some scratching here and there, but you'd expect much, much worse for, for a vehicle like this as they were intended to be used. <clears throat> so here we've got some very minor surface rust around here. I'm assuming Water must have collected here at one point when the car sat outside. Same on the passenger side. It's very, very minor, but I want to point it out. A little bit there too in that corner. It looks like water stagnated there for a while. Easily fixed or remedied if you wanted to do that. That's really it for rust on the entire car. Check out my photos, the undercarriage photos. You Really super, super clean. My, my webpage will have all those photos those photos are from cargarage.com. Wheels, obviously aftermarket. Actually, I don't mind them. Uh, I'm a factory wheel type of guy. These I could live with, but I think I'd pr probably prefer like the more correct Magnum 500 wheels that Ford used back in the day. But these are wrapped with some very nice and recent looking Cooper trendsetters. Those are 14 inch wheels, by the way. We've got some sport mirrors. The car is very, very, well, while well, the truck is very, very well equipped. Those iconic stackable headlights. It has a very 1976 Monte Carlo theme going on there. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Again, as we go around, you'll see that the body is extremely straight and solid. There's no bubbling, there's no rust. Wheel wells are very clean. Perfect, no. It's an original, unrestored car. And there's something to be said for that. They're only original once. Interior's got a little bit of an identity crisis going on, but it's in gorgeous condition. This blue vinyl interior is stunning. 
and appears to be completely original with those cool fold down armrests, his and her armrests. Door panels say Brome and the dashboard says Ranchero 500. So I don't know which it is, but apparently you could get a Brome interior on your Ranchero 500 from the factory. It's also well equipped with cold air conditioning. Yes, it works and it blows cold. Factory AM FM stereo down there and a gauge package. And with the exception of the clock, all those gauges work. It also has a tilt steering wheel, which is kind of a nice feature. Behind the seat, we got a little bit of storage here, very clean carpeting. And there's that, one of those trophies that the car won. I believe it says Cape Cod Classic Cars or something on it. There's no year, but I think it got second place. Uh, correct location for your spare tire. And that uh, so cool to see the, uh, the jack, the style of jack, the, the bumper jack. Back when we used to raise the car by the bumper. Really, really nice. Carpet's original. We cleaned it up as best we could, but again, it's original, it's old. Car's been used, but not used a ton. How do I know? Odometer, 48,812 miles. 48,812 miles, said to be original. We believe it. We also have a clean Massachusetts title that shows that as actual miles. There's no reason for us to deny that, although we will never guarantee it because we don't have all the documents to back it up repair histories and such with mileage notations on them back to day one. But there's no reason for us to believe that isn't correct. And our Massachusetts title shows it to be actual miles. I totally, totally believe it. Really nice dash pad with no cracks whatsoever. And a beautiful headliner. Not bad at all. There's a little bit of a separation here. <clears throat> Sport mirrors that are remote controlled. Even the one on the passenger side, there's a control here for it, and it works. <clears throat> so, we start it up for you. We'll show you what's under the hood. Got dual exhaust on it, which I'm assuming is not factory. Pesky leaves. driver's side sport mirror, some of the factory primer showing. This car is equipped with the optional 351 V8. You can also get a 400 that year, but this has the 351 in it. There we go. Definitely showing some age, but also shows its mileage. Still has factory decals on the valve covers. Somebody even labeled the spark plug wires. Factory decals on the valve covers. That Ford AC compressor. It absolutely does operate and blow cold air. There's nothing that we can see that needs to be done on this car mechanically. It's a very nice driver quality car. It goes right into gear, stops well, shifts well. There's really nothing that you'll need to do to the car anytime soon. So there you have it. Sort of a unicorn, a love-hate type of thing. A 1977 Ford Ranchero from the seventh and final generation of the Ranchero. Orphan Car Garage pricing on this beauty, $10,900. $10,900, you'll be the only one in town with one. I can almost guarantee it. Really, really cool car. Bring it to another level. I'll leave it just the way it is and enjoy it. Give me a call, 508-954-8090. Check this car out on my website, orphancargarage.com. 
subscribe to us here on YouTube. We always have cool, interesting stuff like this car to show you, to offer you. And of course, find me on Facebook and like us there. All our new arrivals get posted there almost first. First, first to see it is usually Facebook. Again, website, orphanconcarage.com. Check out the photos of this car there. Give me a call if you need transport. I can handle that. It's probably less expensive than you think. Until the next one, we'll see you down the road.